Charleston Southern with a long trip to North Dakota State as the Buccaneers taking on the top team in FCS football tonight on ESPN. Sports director Scott Eisberg making the journey to that football town where winning is just a part of the puzzle and the Bucks coming away with an experience that is about much more than just tonight's game. Good evening from downtown Fargo, North Dakota. Yeah. 1,500 miles from home, Charleston Southern has made the trip. Good reason, of course, $300,000 coming the Buccaneers' way for playing this game. But more than that, the exposure this gives for Charleston Southern, their first ever primetime ESPN mothership game, the only game on TV tonight for a national TV audience, the first college football game played on American soil this year. And for the Buccaneers, they get to play North Dakota State, the five-time defending national champions. They certainly know who the Bison are, but do the Bison know who the Buccaneers are? Where are they located? I'm assuming somewhere in southern Charleston. North Charleston, North actually, Charleston. I got you on that one. Charleston, North Carolina. North Charleston. South, South Carolina. Carolina. Oh, all right, you got it um, backwards, close enough. Oh, close. I'm a Carolina fan, Tar Heel fan, so I get a little goofed up every once in a while. Your prediction for the score tonight? <laughs> uh, 24 to 14. Oh, so you're giving some pretty good respect to the Buccaneers then. Well, that's because you're visiting. <laughs> <laughs> and you're very hospitable in the uh, upper grade place. <laughs> yeah, you need something to eat or... I'm, I'm okay right now. I'm on the company expense report. I'm good right now. <laughs> <laughs> what exactly is this game of lumberjack no, you're playing? Yeah, yeah, Hammerschlagen. Yeah. Hammerschlagen. Yeah, where does it come from? Norway, Mary? Germany. 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 Yeah. You tap the nail in, then you just pass it around. The Fargo Dome where Charleston Southern will play tonight, certainly an iconic spot in FCS football. 18,500 seats. They are all sold for tonight's game. It is a big one. They sell out every game. They compare the noise in the Fargo Dome to that of a jet engine. Not bad for Charleston Southern. Jamie Chadwell and his bunch would certainly like to quiet down that noise. We'll hear much more from the Buccaneers coming up in sports. In Fargo, North Dakota, Scott Eisberg, Sports 4. All right. In the Fargo Dome goes to the Bison. A long journey ends with disappointment, but still some respect for the Buccaneers. Sports director Scott Eisberg making that long trip. He's with the Bucks in Fargo. We go to him now live. Scotty. Hey, good evening, Darren. Yeah, what a night here at the Fargo Dome. Charleston Southern really did everything right tonight, everything they could possibly do. You know, you look at it, North Dakota State is a team that's won five straight national championships. They play in an arena of 18,500 seat, uh, seats. Charleston Southern's field is 3,500. It's usually not filled. Bottom line, North Dakota State was in their element. Charleston Southern came in here and gave them an unbelievable battle, Darren. If there's anything you could take from this game, it's the fact that Charleston Southern can literally play with anybody in the country this year. They are a team that theoretically could make a run all the way to the national championship because they played with a five-time defending national champion play in and play out the blue swarm defense Darren did everything they could do against the potent offense Kyle Copeland manufactured yards here tonight he manufactured touchdowns you know one more throw here one more better throw there who knows what could happen I think the kicking game could come along we'll see what happens with the kicking game but bottom line to lose by one touchdown in overtime Darren that's not too bad when you walk into the Fargo Dome and play the first overtime game in history history in this building. Absolutely. Thank you, Scotty. A long day for Scotty. Left Charleston at 6 a.m. today. Little Saturday joins us live now from the Fargo Dome. Scotty. Good evening, Darren. Yeah, this place really is amazing. It is really cool. Everything we've heard about it really has been true. The tailgating is incredible. The atmosphere, totally like an SEC atmosphere, just about 1,500 miles north. And the team Charleston Southern is playing, they are outstanding to the tune of five straight national championships. Carson Wentz, though, is not their quarterback anymore. That's a good thing for Charleston Southern. He's now the quarterback 
quarterback of the Philadelphia Eagles. One other good thing for Charleston Southern is last year, North Dakota State lost this opening game to Montana. You know they'll be ready for it, but Charleston Southern, they think they have a chance. They know they have a chance. They are the number six team in America right now. They've earned that after what they did last year. They certainly are on the map. They're getting 300 grand for this game, so that is good, but that's not what it's about. It's about winning. Yeah, we, you know, we came in uh, today for a walkthrough, and I think it hit everybody then that we're, you know, actually here. We sort of wanted that to happen. We didn't want to be the first time we saw it uh, two hours before kickoff. So, but, yeah, it's been a long time coming. All these interviews and everything going on, and, uh, you know, we're ready for kickoff. I'm, I'm excited about uh, our team today. Pretty crazy that Charleston Southern is going to be the only game on national TV ESPN mothership tonight. <laughs> it is. Uh, we were, um, I was driving in, I was thinking back to, uh, January 17th, 2013, that's the day I got this job. And uh, I was driving, I was like, there's no way in my wildest dreams we'd, I believe we'd be on a bus getting ready to play number one team in the country on national television. And uh, I was talking to one of my coaches about it, and uh, we were just laughing that it's, uh, it's amazing how uh, things that you think could happen and, and, you know, God sort of steers the path. It's been uh, unbelievable, and I'm, I believe our team will put on a good show tonight. Last thing you tell them will be, and what are the keys for tonight? Last thing I'll tell them is to be uh, in the moment, not of it. You know, there's a difference. Make sure you're in it and then uh, play our game. Uh, they beat a lot of teams because of what it says on the front of their jerseys. And uh, we're not going to let that happen. If they're going to beat us, they're going to earn it. This place is going to be really, really loud tonight. They say it's the equivalent of a jet engine. So what Dame Jamie Chadwell did, he said he got the biggest, loudest speakers he could find with the loudest, most obnoxious white noise he could find. And all week at practice, he just placed it right behind his offense. He said that's the best thing they could do to mimic what it will sound like tonight here in the Fargo Dome. Live in Fargo, North Dakota, Scott Eisberg, Sports 4. Thank you, Scott. Uh, um, half the stage that these guys had, the Lord put them on, was uh, very rewarding to watch them play. And um, hopefully that uh, more and more people see the special place that's about our team and just the university and what we stand for. Emotional Jamie Chadwell after a loss that in some ways still feels like a win. Hard to believe what this group has accomplished entering year four with the Bucks. Hello, everybody. I'm Darren Stoltz. With Charleston Southern used to be a non-factor. A winless season in 2011. A couple years later, a new skipper arrived. They won 10 games his first season, played an extra 13th game against Colorado to get a paycheck for lights at the stadium. The next year, they lost by a point at Vanderbilt. Then were handed easily over at Georgia, but got money to install a new turf playing field at Buccaneer Field. But finally, a breakthrough last season, a conference title, a playoff win, ending the season in the FCS Final Eight. All that backstory, all that building, leading to a showdown on national television against the kingpin of FCS football, the five-time defending national champions on ESPN. Charleston Southern going toe-to-toe -to -toe with North Dakota State last night until the very end. The Bison would take a fourth-quarter lead by going to the air. Easton Sticks toss here is perfect, but the Bucks bounce back, eventually force overtime, but in OT, it's one play. A scoring drive sending daggers through the hearts of the Buck faithful. CSU unable to match that mark, falling on fourth down. A 1,500-mile journey. Just a little more motivation for CSU as they come short of toppling the top program in FCS. Sports Director Scott Eisberg on hand in North Dakota. He wraps things up for us from the Fargo Dome. Scotty? Charleston Southern certainly believed they could play with North Dakota State. They said it all preseason. They felt like they had a team that could compete here at the Fargo Dome. Whether the country realized that or respected that idea or not, well, that's yours to decide. But Charleston Southern came out on the first primetime nationally televised game in school history on the mothership ESPN and showed the entire country they are a program who could make a deep, deep run this year. Make no mistake, we're disappointed tonight, and I want to know who turned the air condition on there at the end of the game and knocked that kick left. <laughs> That's, I need to know that, so because um, uh, I want to know who it is. But um, we are disappointed because we we're not happy coming up here and taking the number one team to overtime. We we expected to win the game, and we felt like we were good enough to win the game. And it, and it motivates you, you know. We spoke about the Jack State. You do things like that when you're that close, and it's just one play away. You know, you're one play away, but it motivates you, you know. 
because it says, man, maybe that was one less bench I didn't do. You know what I mean? And that's the kind of mentality I think we, as upperclassmen, as coaches, as anybody, we need to be like, man, like, let's do the things extra so when we see them again, we can pull through with it. The thing that, you know, the thing that's a challenge, I think, for coaches, it's a letdown. It's a letdown. And so we've got to pick ourselves back up with the injuries we had and all the other things. Um, and so um, we gotta, we got to use it and, and get turned around real quick, real quick. I asked Jamie Chadwell if playing with North Dakota State all the way until overtime proves to him that his team has a legitimate shot of going all the way to Frisco, Texas for a national championship run. His response, he certainly doesn't want to look nearly that far in advance. Wrapping things up in Fargo, North Dakota, Scott Eisberg, Sports 4. Thank you, Scott.